Okay, we're on. Okay, hey, welcome to, what kind of nomenclature is this? Think Italy. Roman, Roman nomenclature. Roman nomenclature is specific to formulas that have what is a positive component? A metal that is D subshell metal, transition metal, or heavy heavy P metal, such as lead, for instance. Okay, good. So, it's going to be for metals that are from the D subshell. We call them transition metals or the heavy P's. Now, so you know your, your, your positive component, the one on the left, is always going to be a metal. So where do you find, where do you find the symbol for the metal? Starts with a P. Periodic table. Periodic table. Excellent. Excellent. South Korea is on the board. Excellent. Two points for South Korea. Yes! This is the World Cup of Science. Welcome to the world. And this is room 263 bringing you World Cup Science. Okay. Now, so, um, right. Now, the other, the negative component can either be a single ion whose formula would be found where? A single ion, such as sulfide, or chloride, or bromide, or iodide. Don't leave me hanging here, guys. Where would you find the formula for a simple, single, elemental ion? Yes, the periodic table. I could see she was, she was giving me that, like, telepathically. She was telling me that. Excellent. So now, or the negative, com the negative component can be a polyatomic ion. And where would you find the polyatomic ions? Periodic, polyatomic, polyatomic ion reference sheet. Correct? OK, good. Now, so let's do one, all right? Shall we do one? All right. This is going to be named to formula. You're going to have to do this uh, for homework. OK? Yes? Now. What is, let's do this one. How would you write lead 2? What would that be? The ion. How would you write lead 2? No, you wouldn't say lead. You'd say what? What's the formula for lead? PB. Right? PB. Extra credit, if you can, if you can tell me before the end of the period, why PB and not like LE? Why? What's with PB and lead? I don't understand. No, not now. Okay, so so that's going to be plus two, right? Yes. All right, now, what's sulfate? What's sulfate? What's sulfate? S -S -O. SO4. Excellent. SO4. And what's the charge? Negative two. Negative two. So how many of each do you need to make it a neutral particle? What's the lowest number of positive and negative components needed to make it a neutral particle? One. One each, right? So the way you would write the formula would be simply, I'm going to erase this, okay? And you would write lead sulfate. PBSO4 would be lead to sulfate, clear? So that's the one thing you have to do. So you have to do, so you have to do this table, okay, where you're writing going iron 2 phosphate, copper 3 phosphate, zinc 4 phosphate. Just remember this, that you're following the IPAC rules of Roman nomenclature, correct? They're internationally accepted rules. Just remember this that just because you can write a formula according to the IPAC rules doesn't necessarily mean that the chemical actually exists. It's just we're practicing putting chemicals together based on simple rules. Yes? Okay. And part one, name to formula. Right now we're going to come back with part two, formula to name. Be right back. <laughs> 